Hey guys, Ryan here. In this video, I want to talk to you about a new print on demand product. Well, it's not a new product, but the demand for this product has certainly surged over the last few months due to the uh, Cerveza sickness, as you guys know, I like to call it. And it's not going to come as a surprise to any of you that this product is face masks. Now, when we're selling print on demand apparel, we should not limit the scope of our thinking to any one product type. Like I know t-shirts are probably the low hanging fruit and after t-shirts, probably coffee mugs. But again, don't limit your thinking. If we can make money selling designs on a t-shirt, we can probably turn that same design around and make money selling it on a coffee mug. And if all of a sudden there is record high demand for something like a face mask, well, hey, it's not just the utility that people look for when they're buying something. If they see a funny design on a face mask, they're more likely to spend twice as much money to get that funny design on their face mask. So I'm going to show you how you can easily sell print on demand face masks today. Real quick, let me introduce myself. I'm Ryan Hogue. I've sold over $1.6 million on Amazon to date. And if you follow the links in the description, if you want to check these out, I've got a free print on demand mini course. It's seven day mini course delivered via email. No catches. You just give me your email and I'll email you the course. I have a print on demand Facebook group. We're helping each other succeed, sharing tips and tricks like shifting your focus to selling masks during a pandemic. Uh, I publish income reports every month on the first or second day of the month. If you want to follow my passive income journey and you can go back in time and look at when I made my first profits. So if you want to see the climb from making $43 a month to $2,000 a month and in my best month, I made over 10 grand from print on demand. You can go find that on my website. Links are also in the description. And I wrote a full print on demand course. It's really multiple courses rolled up into one big course. It'll walk you through how to get started selling print on demand products on the world's largest e-commerce marketplaces like Amazon and Etsy to name a few. And it then shifts into how to do it optimally and how to streamline your processes and automate as much as possible. It's worth every penny and the reviews have been great so far. Link in the description if you want to check that out. All right, let's talk about how to sell Printful's face masks. So they actually have two options for face masks. The first one I'm showing you is called a neck gaiter. Now, I have never heard the term neck gaiter prior to seeing it on Printful. Maybe you guys have. Um, I've definitely bought one of these before, though. I think I had the uh, the Guy Fox uh, kind of like, I don't know how to describe it. The V for Vendetta guy is uh, what I had on mine when I bought one. I bought it on eBay for like 99 cents, by the way. So Printful is definitely getting a nice little cushiony markup there at $12.95. But that'll be the base cost if you want to sell through the Printful integration. With the way the Printful integration works, you're going to have to tie one of your e-commerce stores to Printful. So if you're selling on like Etsy and you want to push a net gator to Etsy via the Printful integration, um, you're going to have to go to Printful, which there's a link in the description if you haven't gotten started yet, and integrate that with your Etsy store, which by the way, that's what my free print on demand mini course walks you through how to set up. And once you're set up, you can just push as many of these neck gaiters to your store as you want. If they get a sale, Printful will detect the sale. They will bill you the base cost, which is $12.95 to make the product. Then they'll ship it to your customer and you'll get paid out by Etsy. And whatever difference there is between what you paid Printful, what Etsy takes as fees and uh, what you charge the customer, you'll keep as profit. So this design, by the way, uh, I forgot to put a slide in my presentation, but there's a website called Pexels, P-E-X-E-L-S. Every image there, basically it's like professional photographers or amateur photographers, they upload their images there and they put them out there for the world to use under the Creative Commons Zero License. So you can use it for commercial personal use, no problems. You don't have to give attribution or credit. You don't have to ask permission. So Pexels.com, one of my favorite websites. And uh, I just grabbed an image of outer space from there and cropped out the part that I liked. And then I uploaded it to Printful, took about one minute to do. And I think these look pretty cool. Uh, the designer on Printful, pretty straightforward. Uh, really, all you have to do if you guys are new to Printful, if you've, used, if you've seen Printful, you already know this, but click the design tab, upload your image. If you want to reposition it or anything, you can do that um, on the right-hand side that you see there. All you have to really do is select your stitch color, white or black. I don't think it really makes that much of a difference with the design I chose. White or black stitching would look fine with that design. Um, but based on your design, you may want to select one or the other. And that's it. Then you just click next a couple times and push it to your store and you're good to go. So Printful, very easy to use. Printful also offers 
three packs of the type of face masks that go over your ears. They strap on your ears. Now, you cannot customize these. When you try to, it says this product isn't available for customization. So really all you're doing is selling these at a markup to your customer from Printful's pretty high base cost. I mean, for me, like I'm a, you know, if you follow my channel, I've probably mentioned this a couple times, but I'm an eBay shopper because I'm a bargain shopper and I don't mind waiting a little bit longer for a discount. And, you know, I've bought random little things like this from eBay. You know, when I'm like looking for new FBA products to sell or ideas, I'll oftentimes go to like the mega huge eBay shops that have like 10,000 items listed and I'll just scroll through. And if something costs like 99 cents with free shipping, I'll just buy it, you know? Anyways, so I've, I've seen these things. They have a very low cost. Again, Printful is getting a nice markup there. Um, but you can sell these to your customers through any of your Printful integration uh, stores, Shopify, Amazon, Etsy, Bonanza, Wish. I mean, there's so many. Well, maybe not Wish. Wish is restricted on the products, but you have a lot of options. All right, let's jump over to Gearbubble. Now, first and foremost, Printful is my recommended print-on-demand production partner they do not charge you to use their services. That's probably why they get to charge a little bit of a higher base cost than most of their competition. But there's other reasons why I suggest Printful too. I've done videos on that in the past. I don't want to get sidetracked. Gearbubble though, you have to pay monthly for the integration. So if you want to sell on Amazon, print on demand products on Amazon through the Gearbubble integration, they will charge you. I think the way that they do their tiers are they charge you... Um, per the amount of products that you want to push, I think, or for the amount of sales you get. Um, either way, not many people are happy about that. There's not a lot of, f I've seen people get angry about Gearbubble in my comments before. So okay, guys, Gearbubble doesn't pay me anything to talk about them. I'm just trying to be transparent and give you some suggestions from my personal experience as far as selling masks go. All right, the base cost of a mask on Gearbubble. Now, by the way, clearly not the same mask you see on Printful. Um, these are looking more like surgical masks but a little bit higher quality, so they're not just like throwaways. But the base cost is $6.95 to sell a single mask through Gearbubble. Um, it looks like it probably straps behind your ears, even though you can't see the full strap there. And Gearbubbles, they do not invest the same amount of money that Printful does with getting like mock-ups done and computer-generated mock-ups done. Um, so you don't get to see this on a, on a person to see how it actually looks. But uh, I uploaded that same like vibrant purple galaxy design that you saw on my Printful. And... Gearbubble kind of, I don't know if the words dither, but they, they reduce the colors, I guess, to reflect how their print printer will actually print it with their ink. It doesn't look as good, um, but either way, definitely cheaper. So there's that. You have a pricing edge. And uh, Gearbubble's designer is not very robust, very simplistic. It looks like that. And I mean, the one benefit of Gearbubble, if you're going to go that route, like maybe you're already paying for the integrations. Uh, I have lifetime integrations, by the way, because I paid them like two grand like over three years ago because <laughs> I didn't know any better. I didn't know any uh, alternatives, but anyways, it's fine. I've made that money back. But the base cost being six ninety five, that means that you can charge your customers nineteen ninety five, make $13 a sale, pretty good. All right, and the last one I wanted to talk about, Redbubble. So while Printful and Gearbubble require you to integrate with one of your online stores, Redbubble functions as a production partner that serves as its own marketplace. Now, Gearbubble technically is a marketplace, but Gearbubble gets no organic traffic. So it's not even remotely close to being in the same boat as Redbubble. Redbubble, not only do they produce their own products, do the shipping, do the customer service, and you just get paid out a royalty, but Redbubble ranks extremely well on Google and Google Shopping. And they pay, they don't charge us, they pay themselves for retargeting ads and I mean, just general ads on Google. So they get a ton of visibility. They're great with their email marketing campaign. So they're getting recurring, like repeat customers. And I mean, all in all, I've, I, I think their website from a web developer's perspective is a great user experience. Like it's very easy to upload. Now it didn't always used to be this way. When I first started on Redbubble, you would upload a product and then you'd have to go through like manual positioning on like 30 or 40 products. It took forever, but early in 2019, or maybe it was late 2019, I'm getting everything confused these days, but what they basically updated their product creation process to where it's super easy to upload a single design and then sell it on all of the different Redbubble products available, which I think their catalog is up to like 50 different print on demand products. So you literally, I should do another video on this just to show you guys, but you upload one design and it's instantly on like 50 products. And if you want to, you can go in and tweak it. I'll show you in a second here. This is what the uh, base 
um, product mock-up looks like. So this looks a little bit different than the gear bubble mask, although it looks pretty similar at the same time, but it looks a little rounded at the top instead of being straight. And uh, the red bubble designer looks like this. You can move your image around. You can scale it up, scale it down. You can choose a pattern. So if you want to tile it, you can do that. You can tile it up, down, left, right, off center, etc. So if you put a small image up and you want to fill, click tile, done. Uh, the base cost though for the red bubble masks are ten dollars and forty one cents. And the way red bubbles markup works, it's a little weird. You don't actually get to like set a price for your product. You get to set a percentage markup for your products. And I've actually done a video walking you through how to do this and giving you some suggested amounts in the past. You can find it on my YouTube channel. Um, the thing is they constantly change the base cost of their products. So from the time I recorded that, you may want to like perform your own tweaks. Um, anyways, that's on my YouTube channel if you want to check that out. And that is it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching until the end. If you liked it, do me a favor, let the YouTube algorithm know, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, do me another huge favor, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to know the next time I drop a video, after you subscribe, the little bell icon pops up. Just click that and you'll get an email every time I drop a video. Thank you guys for watching until the end and I will see you at the next one. Passive Income School is open. Enroll now at Ryan'sMethod.com. Thank you.